Hi guys, Tom Morrison here and today I want to go over some of the most common lower back mistakes that people run into. Now if you're someone who has recently just fell and felt a snap you need to go to the hospital, this is more for someone that has just had lower back tightness for years um, and whenever you're trying to train your lower back tightens up and you just find you're always having to rest um, in order to make it feel, you know, to, to ease the pain away, you need to rest, you need to sit and do nothing until the pain goes away, right? Wrong! You need to find the things that you suck at and you need to find the things that are tight in your body or twisted a little bit and start to address them and then work on your strength stuff after. Because if you just start doing planks all the time, planks are a great exercise, right? Wrong. Planks are only applicable whenever you're not a twisted mess. If your hips are hiked up to one side like this, every plank that you do in any variation, even the side plank, anything that you do, you're strengthening that pattern. So you need to know how to assess your left and right sides. That's what the Simplicity Mobility Method is absolutely great for. You need to know how to see all these things with your shoulders and with your hips. Make your shoulders, your upper back and your hips move really well and the lower back will be fine. Leave your lower back alone. You will mess it up, okay? If you're adding more movement to your lower back, okay? That's a good thing to do. Make your lower back move better, right? Wrong. There is a certain point that yes, you can start to add a bit of mobility to your lower back, okay? You're starting to talk about more advanced flexibility. That comes later on. You need to have baseline stability first. So your upper back has a lot more vertebrae and you 12 thoracic vertebrae and you've only five down at the lumbar and you need to have more movement through your upper back. If that's not there, your lower back has to move more whenever you're actually doing stuff and then it starts to hit you over time. You start to lose stability, you start to feel stiff all the time and whenever it starts to feel less stable, it starts to create tightness. Whenever you're getting that tightness all the time, you start to have a little search and see what exercise you need to do and you'll generally come across something like back extensions when you're lying down the floor, lower back exercise, need to work my lower back, make sure it's working okay, make sure you're adding strength, adding strength to your lower back is the right thing to do, right? Wrong! Not at a point. If your lower back is chronically overactive and tight all the time, it may feel better as you're doing the exercise just simply because you're moving and the blood's flowing, but you know, if you keep um, doing that all of the time, then you're making something that's chronically overactive just more inflamed. You're just making it more angry. And if you're suffering with any of the other things that I've mentioned about the hips or the shoulders, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna do anything for you, okay? If you've addressed them other things, then fine, it's a great exercise to do. You need to think about your core as a whole. All the things that you need to be thinking about is isometric tension, you need to think about rotational movement, you need to think about anti-rotational movement, being able to be stiff and strong in a structure and not be pulled out of position, and you also need to have good reactive core strength as well. If you don't have those things all in place, then that's why people can feel really banged up and stiff all the time. If your body doesn't have confidence in itself and how it moves, then it's, it has every reason to give you pain. Pain is a signal and it's given to you if your body doesn't feel like it's moving right, okay? If it doesn't have that confidence, that's why you're going to be stuck in that pain cycle all the time. So these are the things you need to start thinking about. No amount of mattresses are going to help you um, make your lower back feel better, okay? You're, you should be able to sleep sideways up the back of a TV um, for six hours and be able to get up and move fine as long as you're moving good throughout the day. You should be able to sleep whatever way you want, okay? Think about strength, think about moving. Weakness is just gonna come if you're just resting all the time or relying on painkillers all the time. You're just, you're really gonna get stuck in a bad way. And the less you move, the less you're able to move, okay? So you need to take those things into consideration. Other things you may find as well would be like decompression. Decompression of the spine is a good thing, right? Stretch everything out, really good, right? Wrong. At a certain point, if you don't have that stability, your body's gonna absolutely hit that. You're just gonna be hanging and again, Everything's going to be stretching out and you're going to be getting weaker. Well, you might strengthen your grip a bit, but um, the other one is the inversion table. Do not waste money on an inversion table, please, okay? So right now, I'm going to decompress my spine, okay? Look at that. I've decompressed this side. And then I did the other side. Then I can do some circles as well. Your spine has the ability to move in all of these different ways. Whenever you start to give it that, it starts to feel a lot better. You're giving your spine the stuff that it wants to do, okay? Now, if you're training and you're lifting weights all of the time and your form's not great, that can be another thing to factor in as well. If you go online and you ask about lower back stuff, you'll probably come across someone that says, um, do reverse hypers. Since I started doing them, I've never had an issue with my lower back. Right? Wrong. 
that maybe worked for them. You might have a completely different training background. Your form might not be on point with something. I'm sorry, but we do miss stuff whenever we learn. And you might not be engaging your hamstrings properly. You may accidentally um, start to have lumbar flexion, and like moving as you're lifting. You might have a butt wink in your squat, just to a minor extent. And that can be enough to just set your lower back off and just make it just go, look, something's not right here. Just keep stopping them. Just keep, ah, make them stop. Make her stop as well. Um, that's the, the cycle that you can fall into. So if you're having to do all of these crazy mad warm-ups and foam roll all the time and do all this weird stuff and a million lower back exercises and then going and doing bad training accidentally not knowing, that's your problem. Fix your training, your lower back will feel better. That stuff there you can just, I don't know, throw it over there somewhere. Um, so you can accidentally, like I said, start to rack up a hundred million different exercises that you don't actually need. And effectively as well, you could be, like I said, if you're a twisted mess at all, if your hips hiked up on that one side and you're doing planks, you're going to be just strengthening bad positions. So you need to make sure, film yourself, make sure that you're doing things right. Ask people if you don't know, ask a coach, get someone to look at your form, even if it's just for a few weeks or a few sessions, just in your mind to have it, you know, peace of mind, just to have that settlement position. You just know that, yes, I'm definitely doing things right and this is going to benefit me long term, okay? So your body will change over time whenever you start to work on your balance, whenever you start to get better at all these things, whenever you start to get the puzzle pieces together that you need based on your own background, you will start to feel a lot better, okay? So whenever you move better, after that, then you will feel better. Movement comes first. So always keep those things in mind. There's no amount of fancy tools or mattresses and everything um, that's going to fix your issues. You need to make sure that you are moving well, moving well regularly, and stop just sitting and waiting for your lower back together. Lower back together. Stop just sitting and make sure that you're actively taking a proactive approach to your lower back pain, and you will feel a lot better and a lot more confident for it. I hope this was helpful. Check out some of our other videos. They will give you some ideas for upper back and hips. And keep being awesome. Keep it simple.